One mother living in Michigan spoke about how her kids get embarrassed by her conviction history and the toll that takes on her emotions. But my kids have been embarrassed by it. It's not who I am, but it's what everybody sees me as because they can look it up on the computer. So it's very frustrating and it makes me feel very defeated at times. Um, but then I remind myself of who I really am. So mm-hmm. and that gives me a very big strength. One mom from Louisiana spoke about the intergenerational trauma of incarceration. The oppression and injustices of prisons were constant sources of harm in her family. He was like, Mom, what are you doing in there? I was like, you know, kind of when you get in trouble, you got to go to time out of your room. I was like, Mommy's in trouble right now. And when he asked me what I did, like, I was telling him, but he just felt bad because it was so long ago. And here's my little baby being forced to come to metal detectors with my mom, who I watched to go through metal detectors my whole childhood with my brothers. And I had never to do that to her. Another mom in New York spoke about how difficult it was to reconnect with her newborn son after several months of incarceration. He kind of acted like he didn't really know who I was and wasn't really interested in me. He was very distant towards me, um, kind of acted out, lashed out, and left alone with me. He was more close to his grandparents and my boyfriend, his father, than me. I think it's just because I, when I went to jail, he was like six months. When I came home, he was like 11 months, 10 and a half months. It was just, he was getting older and he didn't really know who I was. 